All right, so my name is uh, Patrick Ouso. Uh, today, my group, we are doing a presentation on a, a evidence-based practice. Uh, we are doing on blood transfusion. And my job uh, is to identify the role of nurses during blood transfusion, and also to look at the importance of uh, blood transfusion. So I have a little a cardboard here. Uh, so the first of all, as a nurse, as a nurse, uh, if you're going to do blood transfusion, the first of all, I have grouped it into three categories. We have the before the transfusion, which is the pre transfusion, the general transfusion, and then uh, the post transfusion. What do you know to do, what do you need to do at each stage? So for the pre transfusion, before the transfusion. Uh, you two hours you want to verify and make sure that the informed consent is in there. Without the informed consent, you cannot uh, do blood transfusion. And also, you want to make sure that the blood is compatible with the donor and then the recipient. So you want to do every double check everything with two nurses. All of them with two nurses. The other one is you want to identify the patient's identity. Uh, also double check with two nurses here we talk about the patient's name the full name uh, medical records uh, blood bank armband number the unit all the uh, informations we need to double check to make sure that the right patient you are giving the blood transfusion to the right patient in order to avoid errors and other uh, things also as a nurse you have the responsibility to check the expiration date of the blood. You want to make sure that the blood that you are giving has not been expired. Yes. Then you also have to hang normal cell in the 0.9%. That is the only no, uh, that is the only uh, solution. That is the solution you have to you don't want to do 0.45 or you don't want to do hypertonic or uh, hypotonic solution. We only use the normal cell and what is a uh, isotonic solution during a uh, blood transfusion. Then you want to first of all check vital signs before uh, the blood transfusion. So in order to do the blood transfusion, you make sure you check assess the patient. You check the vital signs first. Uh, then during the transfusion, you can also do the pa uh, patient education. Even the patient that they can, you can do it during the, uh, before the transfusion. But in the course of the transfusion too, you can also educate the patient on the importance and everything. As you are, the transfusion is going on, you want to monitor vital signs. You check it, you can check it maybe every hour or two, just to make sure the patient is stabilized and the patient is doing the right thing. And then for the first five, 15 to, to 30 minutes, you want to stay with the patient to monitor the patient to see what's going whether the patient is tolerating uh, everything we don't want to leave the patients alone then you ask the patient to report any unusual uh, sensations you want to ask the patient whether she's feeling chills she's having shortness of breath she's having hives or itching or anything like that so that you can catch up you can easily catch if there's any uh, reactions taking place and then when you start the infusion you want to begin very slowly and then you increase it to uh, the normal dose as time goes on. Then you want to do the blood and the whole thing should be within four hours. And then you want to make sure you do hourly visual assessment. As a nurse, you want to assess the patient, maybe 30 minutes to every hour to make sure the patient is stable, the patient is tolerating the blood transfusion well. So that is about it, uh, the, the blood transfusion during uh, transfusion. Now the post, after the blood transfusion, you want to assess the patient immediately. Within one hour, you should be able to check the vital signs of the patient to make sure the patient is stable and everything is also going well. You also want to monitor the reactions of the. Uh, we have uh, fever, hemolytic, allergic, bacteria, and the fluid uh, circulation of blood, which one of my colleagues will talk about more. Then what are the importance of blood transfusion in the first place? So we do blood transfusion first of all to replace therapy. If there's a fluid volume, maybe somebody has lost blood due to surgery or trauma, you want to give blood. Also to increase red blood cells and hemoglobin. 
and those who are an anemic and then we know that blood carry oxygen and nutrients to all other body parts so without the blood uh, the body cannot function well increase blood volume and then also to improve the health and then save life without blood man doesn't have life so pretty much this is all about what i need to do now and then my other colleagues will take it from here thank you bye bye